Hey guys, welcome back to Loop Hub. Today we'll talk about super gross moments on my feet are killing me. Let's get into it. Number 1. Russell Despite being under quarantine, Dr. Rebony Vincent has been able to assist many of her patients. Dr. Rebony caught up with Russell on October 22 and he revealed that he was born with webbed and clubbed feet. He also mentioned that his feet were split along the center. Russell's feet felt like they were falling apart as the crisis worsened. Russell confessed that the health of his foot has deteriorated over time and that the agony is excruciating. Dr. Rebony was interested whether any of the physicians had informed him that he had extradactyly, a deformity of the toes and fingers. None of the physicians had given Russell that diagnosis, he confessed. He went on to say that he was brought to the hospital as soon as he was born in the hopes of having his foot fixed. Russell claimed that when he was in the hospital, his feet were wired. Russell's situation was made worse when he disclosed he had an additional toe growing under his toes. Russell then requested the physicians if they might amputate the toe because it was uncomfortable to walk because he was putting pressure on it. They were fortunate enough to be able to do so. His concern however, were not dead over. Dr. Ebony asked him to point to the portion of his body that pained the most. Russell stated that the pressure was felt at his webbed toes and that he wished it would go away. Dr. Ebony noted Russell had a bunion on both feet at the same time. There were moments when it hurt, he said. Dr. Ebony stated that she would initially focus on eliminating the bunion because it will soon become a source of his pain. The most difficult part for her was ensuring that once the bunion was removed, she was able to reattach it to bones. Russell's toe was similarly clubbed, so she understood if it would be difficult to keep the bone from growing in the wrong way. Way. She proposed that the bones of the big toe to be fused to ensure that there is no long-term damage. Number 2. Shan Callihan Shan Callihan enjoys playing the drums and intends to pursue it as a profession. Regrettably, one thing that isn't on his side is his foot. He has a foot discomfort for a long time and it made it difficult for him to practice drumming. When Shan was 16, he began to have this condition. Shan was in an accident and broke his foot, which he was treated for using a plaster. Things took a turn for the worse following this. His foot expanded in size while under plaster and the bones didn't form up as they should have. There was nothing Shan could do after the plaster was gone, so he opted to live with it. Shan went on to see Dr. Ebony Vincent to make sure his foot was not causing him any more trouble. When Dr. Vincent examined his foot, she discovered that this big toe had a disease known as a mallet toe, which causes the bone to grow downwards. Dr. Vincent stated that the hammer toe had developed in his first and second toes as a result of his mallet ailment. She went on to say that because the big toe was pointing downwards and reaching out to the ground for support, the other toes were following suit and bending backward, causing him the discomfort he was always complaining about. She advised him to get surgery so that she could exactly sculpt his bones. Shan was concerned that he might lose his ability to play the drums. Dr. Vincent, on the other hand, informed him that she would be placing a screw between his joints to allow him to develop it properly, and that, despite the fact that it would take nearly a year to heal entirely, it was a risk he could accept. Shan was concerned, but consented since he wanted to continue his life without pain in his foot. Dr. Vincent wanted to put a screw in his big toe as soon as he was in surgery to ensure that the joints could develop properly. She next wrapped her hammer toes with K-wire to ensure that the joints grew properly and straightened up. Dr. Vincent was pleased with the procedure and confident in the excellent result. Number 3. Glenn Stevens Glenn Stevens appeared on the show to introduce himself to Dr. Brad. He'd had a lobster claw-like foot since he was a baby. Despite the fact that Glenn had a number of doctors during his life, none of them had given him definitive answer. Glenn admitted that working was difficult for him since walking for lengthy periods of time caused him discomfort in his feet. Sharon Stevens, his wife, claimed that there were moments when he couldn't get up due to the discomfort. Dr. Brad stated that a procedure called syndactyl might enhance his foot and allow him to walk more easily. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it, hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.